This is Greg Benson. I'm talking to Doug Vale, the general manager of Mycogen Seeds here at uh, Dow AgroSciences. And, um, Doug, let's first address some of the seed supply issues or if there are any issues out there this year. There's uh, maybe been some cold weather in Chile in your winter production. Well, absolutely. I think we've, you know, we've had coupled up with a couple of major events that have gone on, first of which is as we've launched a lot of new technologies, we're more reliant on winter production as we ramp those things up and certainly had a big winter crop plant in Chile. Uh, we've had two issues in Chile that I think you know are really impacting one of which is a little bit of a, uh, a cool fall for them, if you will, delaying harvest somewhat. And the second thing we haven't really talked about is that uh, we didn't anticipate having an earthquake within 100 miles of uh, most of the production where most of us here in the U.S. raise our corn. Uh, actually, the earthquake has not caused us that much of an issue, a few shipping delays, but not significant. Probably the biggest issues are twofold, first of which is we are somewhat delayed, slightly in Chile at this point, but just as importantly as the early spring that we've gotten off to here in the Corn Belt. And uh, you couple those two, and certainly there have been some concerns concerns and some uh, some late delays, and we're packing a lot of seed that's still warm when it arrives at a grower's field, but uh, generally we're in pretty good shape, and we had contingency plans in place to be able to deliver, you know, very good hybrids in place of those in the event they weren't available. Well, we're pretty far along in the planning already, and we're not even here on May 1 yet. If there's still time, so if there's a concern that a grower has about getting their supply, what do they need to do? I think if they're contacting their local, you know, local dealer, local sales rep, uh, there is still their seed available, seeds becoming available every day uh, as we go forward, and so Certainly, if you've got some new hot numbers, uh, new, new hybrids with new technologies you want to try, uh, within the next 10 days, I think I'll virtually everything would be available. And uh, certainly not to uh, scare anyone, but we've, we've usually got back 75 to 80 percent of the products are already back in the field today and available. And, uh, you know, there's still time to get some out there, and I think we've got plenty of time left this spring if you want to take a look at those products to make sure we get them delivered to you. Now, again, we're still, still not even here on May 1 yet. Is there uh, any or concerns or opportunity, I guess, maybe from a, a corn company? company to, to see some shift from soybeans to corn. Oh, I think certainly as we take a look at the overall trends, you know, farmers really like to plant corn. And uh, I think as we continue to have a very open spring here throughout the Midwest, you know, we're looking at the next week, maybe a little wet. But beyond that, you know, we'll have a lot of opportunities. And I think certainly, uh, you know, we can plant two, three million extra acres of corn pretty quickly uh, if we're there. And I think we will see some that uptick as a result of the weather. But we still won't see major shifts. I mean, generally, most farmers still like to rotate their crops and need to stay in a tight rotation. And uh, we'll get a little bit of upside. Are you seeing any indication that that is going to happen? Well, I think we're seeing a little bit of it. I mean, we've seen some late demand come in some areas that we thought we would have shipped enough seed in to have, you know, met the demand, and we're continuing to see a little, but not not huge shifts, but certainly uh, send some uptick that we think is there and real. All right, that's Doug Vale, General Manager of Mike and Seeds here at Dow AgriSciences.